Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's Uncle Aaron again, and thanks for joining me for today's Bible Zone video. Today, we're going to get started with our action memory verse, followed by the Bible story time, and then we'll finish with the Bible Zone praise song. Are you ready to get started? Okay, here we go. So our action memory verse is from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. And these are the words of Jesus. It says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. That's Jesus just telling us that he's always going to be with us, even to the end of the age. That means to the end of time. Basically, he's going to be with us forever. So let's do it now with some actions. Are you ready? All right, Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. All right, did you get that? Let's do it one more time. Here we go. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. I am with you always even to the end of the age. All right, good job. Last week's video was called Jesus Warned About Not Acting. Let's see what happens in this week's video. In the Old Testament, Moses led God's people, the nation of Israel, out of Egypt, through the wilderness, and towards the Promised Land. Throughout their journey, Moses was a prophet to the people. God spoke to Moses, and Moses shared God's message with the people. The people liked that Moses spoke to God for them. One day, Moses told the Israelites, The Lord, your God, will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own brothers. From the people of Israel, you must Listen to him. In the same way that Moses represented the Israelites before God, this prophet would represent the people before God. Like Moses, he would also represent God before the people. God said, I will put my words in his mouth and he will tell the people everything I command him. Anyone who does not listen to my words that the prophet speaks will have to answer to me. God also warned against false prophets. He said, someone might come and pretend to be a prophet, but anyone who speaks a false message in my name or who claims to speak for other gods must be stopped. This was a serious warning. But how could the people really know if what a prophet spoke was really from the Lord? Moses said, when a prophet speaks in the Lord's name and the message does not come true or is not fulfilled, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. God's words always come true. God sent many prophets to speak to the Israelites after Moses died. The prophets would warn or encourage the people and remind them of God's promises. Sometimes the people listened to the prophets and other times they ignored or even hurt them. At just the right time, God kept his promise to send a prophet even greater than Moses. Jesus is the perfect and final prophet God promised to send. Jesus is the Word who became a man. He came into the world not only to tell people God's message, but to bring people to God through his death and resurrection. So boys and girls, before we had the whole Bible, God spoke to his people through prophets. And prophets were special messengers that told the people what God wanted them to know. Now, Moses was one of those special prophets, if you remember Moses. And Moses also spoke about one day how the true perfect prophet would come. And he would be much more than a prophet and that the people should wait for this prophet to come. And the prophet he was talking about was Jesus. This prophet would rescue people from their sins. And that's exactly what Jesus did. So Jesus is God in human flesh, and he came not to just tell us the truth, he did that because he lived a perfect life, and he told us the truth, but he lived it. Many of the other prophets, they weren't God, they were just people, and so they shared God's message, 
but they were not perfect people. Jesus is perfect. He was perfect because he is God. And so when he came, he did many, many things, but the most important thing he did is that he fulfilled the promises that God had given many years ago, and he became the perfect sacrifice for our sins. He died for our sins so that we can be forgiven and one day live with God in heaven. So boys and girls, you might ask the question, can Jesus be a prophet and God? Yes, absolutely. So he is a prophet because he shared the message that God wanted us to know, but he's so much more than a prophet because he is God. So it's similar to this. My name is Aaron and I am a brother to my sisters, but I'm also an uncle to my nieces and nephews. So I'm an uncle and a brother. That's a little bit of an example of how Jesus is a prophet. He's a special messenger who came to tell us what God wanted us to know, but he's much more than that. He is God. He came to earth as a man and lived a perfect life and fulfilled everything that the Bible told us that he would do. Boys and girls, I'd like to close with this question. Are you living your life in a way that shows that you trust Jesus? Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our Bible Zone praise song. The song that we're doing today is called Give All Your Worries to God. And this song is reminding us that, you know, we are going to go through some tough times in life and things that will cause us to worry, but we don't need to hold on to those worries. We can give them over to God because he cares for us. So let's think about that as we sing this song, Give All Your Worries to God. All right, boys and girls, before we close in our prayer time, I want to remind you if you have any questions at all about anything you saw or heard today, or anything you might want to know about God or the Bible, I'd love to help answer those questions. So you can email me at the email address below, but make sure you get mom or dad's permission first. All right, let's pray to God. Dear God, I thank you for your great love for us. And I thank you that even though 
We are sinners. You came and you died for us so that we can be made right with you. And we thank you, Jesus, for how much you love us and the sacrifice you made. Help us to live our lives in a way that shows how much we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you so much for watching today's video. And remember, Jesus is the perfect prophet, and he came to show us exactly who God is. I'll see you next week. Thank you.